Hello viewers, and welcome back into my show. Before we get started, I have a few things to say. Shout out to Attackboy97, Starstruck Gaming, Grace Jaquez, Ultranave Gaming, and Hamida Mansuri. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. I've probably subbed you backy. If you sub, I'll be sure to mention your name before a new filling in the blanks. So if you haven't subscribed but you've taken a like in my series, please subscribe now. Speaking of my series, I can't help but thank Tiny Castle Guy and IJZM for being the only commenters on my last review, which has 70 plus views and only one like. But thanks you guys, I really appreciate that. Sorry for not uploading more filling in the blanks last week. I hope you enjoyed the piano songs though. Lastly, we're at the halfway point to my sixth review, which will always be on a bad show. Why the sixth? Well, have ever heard of the devil's number? The show will be on Scan the Ghost and Super Secret Mountain Fort Awesome, already got ranted on by Rebel Taxi. As I said in my first review, don't throw a tantrum if I rant on a show you like. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion, and I understand that. Just skip over a video I do if the title I insert throws you off. Long story short, no flame wars or trolling on my rant videos, please. I wouldn't do that on your video, so please don't do that to mine. With those out of the way, let's get started. As always, I start with some background. Magi Nation was a show that premiered on Kids WB on Saturday, September 8, 2007. From there on, it took the t it took the time slot of 7:30 a.m., making it the second show on that Saturday morning block to air. The first was always Will and Do It, a show I'll review at another time. I might review it next if this video hits four likes. Why four? Because my favorite Kids Next Door character is always number four. When Kids WB became CW4Kids, Magi Nation remained in that time slot until November 15, 2010, where it was promptly cancelled. There was supposed to be a second season, but it never saw the light of day. Anyways, the story of Magi Nation revolved around three kids. Tony Jones, who was a track team star from Earth, Eden, a mysterious girl from the room, and Streg, an underneathian. The room and the other neath are both examples of realms in the moonlands. But their goal is to collect all the dreamstones hidden in all the realms of the moonlands. They need all the dreamstones to permanently seal away a really bad dude named Agram, who uses corrupted energy called void energy to achieve his evil goals. <laughs> Along the way, they overcome challenges, meet new friends, and acquire new dream creatures. Guys, are you getting tired of the dream and imagination puns? Sorry, it's about to get mushier. Dream creatures are basically this series Pokemon, Digimon, Bakugan, Buddy Card tie-in. It's like Pokemon because when the dream creature is wild, you can tame it by fighting it or somehow gain its trust. It's like Digimon because when dream creatures aren't fighting, they reside in an alternate world called the Dream Plate. In addition, most of them have the ability to speak. The corrupted dream creatures, also known as shadow creatures, usually lose their ability to speak. It's like Bakugan because the battlers usually re rely on one of their preferred creatures to win. Buddy Fight is recent and not well known yet, but I'll leave a link in the description of the, a channel that posts episodes. I'll review that another time as well. I think it's quite good so far. I left out quite a bit, but that's okay. I hope it's enough to interest you in this series. Now onto my opinion. I was only nine years old when this came out, and the commercials were really hyped up. Take a look. Imagine, 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 on the series premiere, my sister and I watched in awe. Looking backy, I gotta agree with myself. The Magi Nation TV series had one of the most exciting first episodes. It kept me and my sister at the edge of our seats. We didn't know what was going to happen next. Sometimes, I would record episodes on a special VHS tape so that we could watch our favorites over and over. Good times. Before I recommend this to anyone, I must note that there was a Magi Nation game for the Game Boy Color and a Tiny Castle Guy. <laughs> I mean, trading card game. They were both on the scene in the early 2000s and were inspiration for the TV show many years later. 
To those who played the game first, the show is a mess that was forgotten about. To people who haven't played either thing, this show is a whole new experience, and that's how Magi Nation was to me. I can still enjoy it today, especially with my sister, despite being older. It's a good show if nostalgia goggles aren't gripping you tight. The shows are more slapstick action-related, but I still found them to be funny. There isn't any CGI in the show, and any show that uses little to no CGI is okay in my book. I recommend this show to people who enjoy Pokemon-esque shows without automatically hating them and giving them a chance. I don't recommend this show to people who have already played the video game. There is so much that has been changed between the games and the show that they're basically two different entities all together. Thanks for watching this episode of Filling in the Blanks. Please comment, like, and most importantly, subscribe. Next time, I'll review Digimon Fusion, which is another recent show. However, if this video hits four likes, I will do will and do it instead. Until then, hi!